Shark Week kicks off on Discovery Channel Sunday, July 30th with Mike Rose's two-hour special, Dirty Jobs, Jobs That Bite. In the meantime, check out this Shark Week video special. Lots of people mixing with lots of sharks have made Daytona the so-called shark bite capital of the world. But is Daytona's bark worse than its bite? Jason Williams is one person who should know. He's a surfer who's come foot to face with the local wildlife. I just got off a wave and then uh, I was standing on the sandbar about to jump back on my board and paddle back out and uh, just out of nowhere, all of a sudden, my foot was in a shark's mouth. There was a a really strong burst of energy. I mean, when it hit me, it was like somebody hit me with a bat. But what kind of shark was responsible? The shark bit me like this, and you could see a tear in my tendon. That's the way the teeth went. There's 34 puncture wounds, I believe. These are the stab wounds of a juvenile shark, and the likely suspect is a young black tip or a more ferocious bull shark. Daytona's fame reached a peak in 2001, but it was the kind of fame a seaside resort could do without. Yet lifeguard Scott Peterson knew the bites were no cause for panic. 2001 um, was dubbed the year of the shark. That was the most uh, bites worldwide that had ever been recorded. In an average year, there are about 50 shark bites in the whole country, and in 2001, nearly half came from Daytona. No one died, and most were minor bites, but press crews from all over the world flooded here, mistakenly thinking of the hysteria caused by Jaws.